Hey, what's up, family? It's your favorite uncle, cousin Tyrone Gregory here. And I just had to come on here real quick to address the misinformation that's going around on social media, uh, in just, just in the media period, regarding this stimulus check. Recently, somebody forwarded me this video, and I just had to address this video here. Okay, TikTok, so this is something I found out today about the $1,200 stimulus checks that you may be receiving with the new coronavirus stimulus package bill. Where am I getting my information? Literally directly from the bill itself. If you go to subtitle B rebates and other individual provisions, it, it, it outlines exactly what you're going to get. The $1,200, 24 in the joint for equal and qualified persons. See, what they don't tell you is this is just an advance on your next tax return. There shall be allowed as a credit against the tax imposed by subtitle A for the first taxable year beginning in 2020. It even further outlines it's literally an advance refund amount. So that means next year you're automatically going to owe $1,200 come tax season. Guys, stay safe out there. Media and public is not telling you exactly what this bill is. Now, normally I don't get involved when I hear things like that because, you know, it's just, it's just part of society, right? But this I literally had to address. This is, I'm not going to say that the, 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 the uh, gentleman was trying to purposely mislead people. I'm just going to assume that he misunderstood what it is he read. Because in the statement he stated, or in the video, he said that what they failed to tell you what this is, is an advance. And then he goes on to read it where it says this is an advance. So they didn't fail to tell you. It is literally right there in the bill in which he read. So I think the misinformation or the misunderstanding in what this gentleman was, uh, uh, maybe what he misunderstood is the fact that it is an advance. Now, let me kind of give an example of what an advance is. Now, there. before I do that, let me say this. We have to understand words. We have to educate ourselves. An advance is different than a loan, okay? They are two completely separate things. The, the bill did not say that this is a loan. It's loaning to taxpayers. It said this is an advance that they're giving to taxpayers. And he literally showed you that in the video. But this is why I think there's a misunderstanding because we need to understand what an advance is. Let's say, for example, you have a regular W-2 wage job. And in that job, you make $2,400 a month within a 30-day period. So you go to your boss. Um, let me back up. So let's say you get paid at the end of the month. So let's say that this is the month of April. So you won't get your next check until April 30th. However, you're facing an emergency situation and you go to your boss and be like, look, I need $1,200 of my uh, $2,400 check. I need it now. I can't wait until April 30th. So your boss says, okay, I'm going to give you an advance on your check. OK, so he gives you twelve hundred dollars today in advance on your regular paycheck. So what happens come April 30th, when you receive your regular scheduled check, you're going to receive that amount minus the twelve hundred dollars that you already received. That's how an advanced work. When you get paid on April 30th in this scenario, you're not paying back the $1,200 that you received up front? No, it's just not going to be included in your original paycheck in that scenario. So let's put that into perspective with your 2020 tax returns that you'll file next year in 2021. It's simply an advance. The government issued a new credit that was supposed to be given when you file your taxes next year. But guess what? Instead of getting it next year, you're getting it now. So as opposed to waiting until you file taxes next year, you're getting that $1,200 now, plus the whatever, uh, the $1,200 and the $500 for, you know, your qualifying children. 
So when you file your taxes next year, you're not going to owe it back. You're simply just not going to see it on that tax return. That's all it is saying. That's, that's all that is happening right now um, when it comes to this bill. So in essence, you really shouldn't miss it because you're going to file taxes as normal. You'll still get all your normal credits that you normally do. You'll still get the child tax credit, the standard deduction, additional child tax credit, earned income credit. All of those things will still exist. You just won't get the $1,200 because you got it now. That's it. Okay. And again, I don't think the, the, the gentleman on that video was purposely trying to do this. I'm hoping that was not the intent. I'm hoping that he just simply misunderstood what the bill was saying. That's why I wanted to come on here and clarify this because I've received calls of people saying I'm not going to spend this money because they're simply going to ask for it back. That's not the case. That's not how it works. Take the money, spend it wisely, use it for what you needed to use it for, and you're good to go. Any questions, let me know. You know I'm here for you. That's why I'm your favorite uncle cousin. I love you and I hope this helps.